Let's take a look at scales. Now, first of all, you might need to calculate the length of something either in real life or using a ruler that's been placed in position on the screen. Let's say in this example, we needed to work out the length of the side of this square. Then all we would do in real life is take our ruler and put one um, end of the side length up against the zero mark of our ruler and making sure that it's completely parallel or completely on top of the line that we're measuring, see where the other end lines up. And here it lines up with four. So this distance here is a distance of four centimeters. Measuring temperatures, you might be asked to read a temperature from a thermometer and it might be in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit, the skill is the same. Just see how far up the mercury rises or the colored liquid inside the thermometer on the left hand side here. We can see it goes up to 20. Maybe it's slightly under 20, but I think 20 is an acceptable um, estimation. So that is 20 degrees Celsius. And on the right hand side, the red goes up to 90. So that is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Measuring volume is pretty similar to measuring um, a temperature to see how far up the liquid in the measuring jug goes to. And here we can see it goes all the way up to 600. So that is gonna be 600. And we can see that this is milliliters. And on the one on the right, it's above 800, but it's below 900. So we just need to be careful of the scale. For example, that's not 850. Here we're going up in 25s, 800, 825, 850, 875, 900. To go from 800 to 900 is one, two, three, four steps. So if, if that's a difference of 100 milliliters, divide that by four, that's 25. So that help, will help us calculate the scale. So we're going up in 25s. So that is therefore 825 milliliters. For the weight, all we need to do is just see where the arrow lines up. So on the left hand side, the arrow is bang on the 900. So that is a, a weight of 900 grams. On the right hand side, I think we can assume it's bang on this mark here. Again, we need to check the scale. So let's just have a look at between zero and six. We've got one, two, three steps between zero and six. So six divided by three is two. So therefore we're going up in two ounces at a time. So zero, two, four, six, that works. So if we apply that over here, then this is 18, 20, 22 ounces.